see clearly at near, far, without surgery, without glasses, and without soft contact lenses. Hello, I'm Dr. Vuong. Today's topic is adult ortho -K. We're going to talk about what is ortho -K. Does it work for adults? Who are good candidates for ortho -K? Our Vuong Optometry channel focuses on giving tips, sharing information on so you can have your eyes. So my practice has been in Southern California for over 20 years. I focus on ortho -K therapy. Now, ortho -K therapy is a specialty lens that kids wear at nighttime so they don't have to wear glasses during the day. The most amazing thing and most important for their eye uh, health is that their prescription uh, of nearsightedness does not increase as much as compared to wearing glasses or soft contact lenses. Ortho-K is very effective for controlling nearsighted prescription. Now, I myself wear Ortho-K, my kids, nieces and nephew, and all my staff uh, pretty much wear Ortho-K. Today, uh, I want to tell uh, you the story about adult Ortho-K. So before I start the video, I hope that you like, share, and subscribe to our video so we can um, give you updates on new videos coming up. Uh, when I started wearing Ortho K for my uh, nearsighted prescription, I feel it's just amazing therapy because all I need to do is wash my hands in the evening, put the glass, the contact lens in my eye, go to sleep in the morning, wash my hands, take the contact lens out, and I can see clearly at far near and computer. Uh, my story is that uh, I practice in a uh, Asian community, a Vietnamese community in Little Saigon in Southern California. And uh, so I share this information and amazingly a lot of patients, parents are looking for this therapy. For the last 20 years, I have a lot of patients doing ortho K mainly for kids who are nearsighted because their glasses are getting thicker and thicker and the parents are worried that they have complications due to increased prescription. Sometimes parents come in the office and they ask me, oh, this is wonderful. My kids don't have to wear glasses. They can go swimming, uh, martial arts, uh, dancing, driving, biking, running without glasses. And their prescription is year in and year out after we check is about the same. So it did not increase. So they, the parents ask me, you know, I, I'm thinking about LASIK, but I'm afraid of LASIK. Or some pa um, parents tell me that my cornea is too thin. I cannot do surgery or I'm afraid of surgery. They asked me, can I do ortho -K too? <laughs> so I said, of course, we have to take, uh, take a look at your eye health, your cornea, your prescription, and see uh, if your lifestyle fit ortho -K. So today I'm gonna talk about if ortho -K work balance, okay? And how it works and what's involved. So I want to go into general only, and I want you to understand that this video is for information only is not considered treatment or any recommendation or diagnosis. I hope that you would go to your local eye doctor for any uh, individual eye care or recommendation. Let's talk about what is ortho K. Ortho K, the word ortho stands for uh, being straight. So keep something straight. Um, K stands for care and ortho keratology is the study of keeping the I or keeping something straight, the cornea. Okay. Ortho K is similar to RGP. RGP is rigid, gas permeable. Ortho K is made of a material. Let's say my, my jacket here is made of cotton. Ortho K lenses material is made of a material that allows the eye to breathe, does not cause the eye to be too dry compared to the soft contact lenses. So that's why it's rigid, gas permeable. So it's a little bit rigid, it allows gas transfer to uh, trans to travel between the cornea and the T layers. So that's why it's called permeable, which is gas permeable lenses. So other K is made of a material that's a little bit different than soft, uh, it's a lot different than soft contact lenses. It is FDA proof to wear to sleep because it allows the corneas to uh, receive oxygen and moisture so it won't dry out while we sleep. Because it has a certain shape, it helps control the prescription for kids to not going, but it's changed the shape to allow them to clearly. So let me explain. So if we are nearsighted, our eyes, let's say this eye is perfect. If we are nearsighted, our eyes due to environmental usage or changes, we study too much, the eye become longer. Then the eye cannot see clearly. The image is projected on in, in the center of the eye on the kind of vitreous area in the middle of nowhere, basically in the eye. 
And so we want the image, what we see to focus on the web now, which is what we receive the information and it projects to the brain. So if the eye become too long, that means the image is projected in the center. For the author K to work for a nearsighted person, we need to make the eye shorter because like I said, the eye is too long. Author K, while we sleep, it has shown shape, prescription and size. It helps move the tears along with the corneal cells to the side of the peripheral vision to the side of the cornea on the uh, edges. When we wear at night, it gently does that. It does not hurt, it doesn't affect anything. Provided you keep your eyes moist, drink a lot of water, or use artificial tears. So the cornea has been changed by the ortho K lenses, like faces that change our shape on our teeth. So when it changed the shape of the eye, we call it molding. Or after, after we remove the ortho K in the morning, it keeps that shape throughout the whole day. So when the eye cornea is corneal shape is changed, then the projection, which is the image that move on the retina, is on the retina now instead of in front before, and so they can the patient can see clearly. That's how it works for nearsighted patient. Now for far sighted patient, the eye they are born with a shorter eye, so the eye is a little bit shorter. Okay, so shorter. So we need to give them more more power. The ortho K works by moving the corneal cells, all the cells here on the on the cornea, move it to the center. And when it does that, it's kind of like you build a sand castle to make it higher because it's shorter. When they move the cornea, elongate out a little bit, it gives it the extra power that the person who is nearsighted, a farsighted needs to see clearly at distant and near. So that's far side and near side prescription. So, but today we're talking about the adult patient. Majority of my patient, adult patients, are actually enjoying carefree glasses all their life. So what I mean is when they're born, they have 20-20 vision at far, 20-20 vision at near. All of a sudden they turn 40, they cannot see near anymore. Their arms length are getting shorter and shorter. They so they cannot move the computer out or move the glasses, uh, the, the, the reading material long enough. So they have to wear glasses when they turn 40. So what happened when they were young, they can see clearly at distant and near. Now they cannot see clearly at near. So let me explain what happened inside the eye, okay? Inside the eye, we have uh, muscles. Those muscles, they help uh, move, focus the image for us. So you notice I have a lens here. It's, this is called a crystal lens. Now the crystal lens that sits behind the iris, Right here sits behind this is the iris it sits behind the iris and so whenever we look at certain distance the muscles that we talked about the ciliary muscles it move the lens inward to make the lens this lens here make it thicker right if we look at near we need a stronger prescription to look at near so it makes it moves this lens to be uh, become thicker so we have a stronger prescription to see to see and read something at near computer or a, a, a newspaper or papers and if we look at a distance the muscles move outward so relax the eye basically to look at distance so we need less prescription at distance for to see clearly and we get a little bit older 40 <laughs> a little bit mature those muscles become less flexible this muscles here so i compare it like a rubber band so when I use my rubber band to tie my hair, if the rubber band is new, it's very flexible. I can tie my hair and my hair stay put all day long. But if I keep look, using that elastic band um, after maybe a week or two and I tie my hair, my hair, the, the rubber band keep going down because the rubber band has become, it lost its elasticity. It does not hold it. So I have to kind of tie it more, you know, uh, tighter. So. The muscles inside our eyes are similar to the elastic band. It does not, it loses elasticity as we get older. So now we cannot see near as clearly. The other K works for an adult patient who cannot see at near, similar to we work for a patient who are far side because they, they don't have enough power. So we need to design a lens for an adult, the optic or old eyes person we need to give them a 
more power here. So the lens, like I explained earlier for far side, we need to increase the power. So we, in essence, we move the corneal cells while uh, the corneal cell is moved while we're sleeping using the special contact lenses like a retainer, move it up and it holds it in place. When we wake up, we remove the alpha-cake lenses and we can see far and near. It does affect the distance a little bit. Depends on the prescription. So everyone's uh, situation, health, uh, prescription or eye, kind of like um, they use the eyes, basically lifestyle is different. To answer your question, so this is how the ortho K works. Ortho K is only working if a patient eyes are healthy. If you have, if you are diabetic, you have severe dry eyes, you have some kind of condition, or you had a corneal scar, or even after post LASIK, ortho K does not work as well. It could work, but it might not work as well as if the cornea is compared to a cornea that, that does, did not have surgery on it, okay? But that's why it's important for the patient to call uh, the doctor and ask the doctor to have a consultation to see if they could candidate. Because some patients, we cannot help them based on their lifestyle and also uh, their health uh, condition, okay? So that's how ortho K works. I would like to share you a one case study that will help. We have help a lot of patients, like the story I share you, that the parents bring the kids in to wear ortho K to control the nearsighted prescription and so allow the kids to not having to wear glasses during the day so they can go uh, um, play uh, any sports they want, martial arts, swimming, volleyball, tennis, uh, uh, racquetball, anything. But the parents see the benefit, they want to do it too. So this is a story I want to uh, share with you. One case study is very, uh, it changed her life for much better and because of that she has referred a lot of patients to us okay so let me share the story of this patient uh, TT okay so I have a uh, patient TT here with me uh, her chart and I want to go over her first day it's very typical so, um, like the story I said most people uh, have perfect eyesight when they're born and so they enjoy carefree vision meaning they don't have to worry about glasses don't worry, have to worry about soft contact lens and they still can see far and near all of a sudden that 40th birthday they cannot see near anymore they have to put the glasses further out i mean they have to turn 40 then they have to move their reading material further and further out because they cannot see clearly and they don't want to wear glasses and they work in a dusty environment they cannot wear soft contact lenses and they are afraid of LASIK because all their cornea is too thin. They cannot do uh, LASIK. So um, they are looking for alternative, right? So he, this patient, he TT is perfect for ortho K because she just become what we call a uh, emergent presbyopia. So she just started to have problem at near, okay? So when she came, basically her prescription uh, at distance is zero. She has no prescription. She can see 20-20 at distance. Her right eye and the left eye and both eyes together, 20-20, perfect. Then she said that her knee is not clear enough for her to uh, work as a um, manicurist um, paint uh, um, working on nails. She can see only 20-40. She goes to the you know Costco, CVS, or all the uh, pharmacy to get um, prescription glasses, not non-prescription glasses over the counter reading glasses like plus one. So that's how it helps her see clearly. But she did not want to wear glasses because she works in a cosmetic, uh, like she works in an area where she wants to look young. So, so that's why she does not want to wear glasses. So she asked us if we can do off the K for her. So that was four years ago. So now let me show you her recent uh, appointment. So basically after she, after we measure her prescription, basically design the lens for her, make uh, have a size, uh, her shape and everything, design a custom lens for her. We train her to wear the ortho K to wear at nighttime in the morning, she takes them out. Then this is her data after she wears the ortho So to recap, 
this patient TT ortho K journey. So I want to review. So basically, her prescription is very low because she's uh, still young when she started the ortho K four years ago. Her distant prescription is 2020. At near, she see 2040. After the ortho K, her distant vision is still 2020. However, her near prescription improved by about three four lines. So it allows her to work on uh, the manicures uh, at near and and also see her phone daily. So I want to show you the difference. However, it is very subtle, but it makes a difference, big difference in her life. So that's the video on adult ortho K. I hope you have uh, find it value and subscribe and like and share to uh, this video so we can um, make more uh, information videos such as this one. I wish you a wonderful day and thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.